Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. And uh, we're going to continue on today with the hypnosis series. This will be the third video. And today, basically, what I'll be talking about is um, past life regression hypnotherapy. If you haven't ca uh, catch the one, the other ones that I had, uh, please watch them, especially the first one, because it just really gives you a general sense of what hypnosis is and how I conduct my hypnosis versus um, other people, the ones that give suggestions, the ones that do it for entertainment purposes. Definitely, I do not do it for entertainment purposes at all. I do it for the sake of healing, the sake of opening up people's minds and perspectives and kind of letting them know that there is so much more than this three-dimensional reality that we live in because we are in the third dimension. That's why everything is 3D. Okay, so we'll continue. Um, as far as past life regression goes, it's still a pretty controversial topic, but I don't even think that, I mean, the only reason why there is controversy on this topic is because, of course, the science community is still hesitant in recognizing these things, even though they've been around for a very long time, and uh, of course, the religious community, but I mean, if you guys haven't been looking around, watching even the news or reading online articles, I mean, more and more people are starting to really accept these terms. And it really sucks that these world leaders, whether it's in the uh, religious aspect or in the scientific aspect, they're the ones that get to have the last word, right? So it, it really sucks when it comes to that, but I think that we're all in a big awakening here and we're all kind of seeing that, that there is something more to us and you know, more and more people are reporting not only past lives, um, children are reporting past lives, but it all started really when people started to report, and this is, I mean, this has been ongoing, but it really started to make a difference when people started to report and analyze uh, near-death experiences. So it, it's, it's all definitely tied in. And I have a, I have a very um, strong connection with past life regression because it's really what, what set me on my path as far as um, knowing my passion and understanding myself, understanding how the universe works, even though that's something that I always wanted to, to learn about. But as far as um, past life regression goes, it's actually been around for a pretty long time. I want to say even up to, I want to say up to even the 60s. I know for a fact the 70s and early 80s, it finally got published um, in, I believe it was 1988 by Dr. Brian Weiss. Uh, he released his first book, Many Lives, Many Masters. And that book changed my life. And that book has changed ev uh, just about everybody's life, everybody's perspective. Because what that book uh, is about is this psychiatrist who does not believe in God, doesn't believe in any of that, but he, um, he had a patient where he started practicing hypnotherapy with and he accidentally gave her an open-ended question and she went somewhere else. <laughs> she went somewhere else, not in this life. He basically asked her, take me to the last time, no, sorry, take me to the first time where this problem began. And this woman, uh, she goes under the name of Catherine. You guys can look it up. I will, I will uh, leave you links and stuff like that on his website and uh, so you can kind of feel him a little bit and see what he's all about. He's a beautiful, wonderful man. And um, anyway, so he gave her this open-ended question and she just went somewhere else. And instead of him being like, hey, come back, where are you? 
um, what are you doing? He, he kept going, he kept going, he kept asking her questions, he became very intrigued by her. So basically, the whole book was just about his experience with her and how he was able to heal her from post-traumatic stress disorder. And as many of us know, post-traumatic stress disorder is a very, very difficult thing to heal from, difficult uh, psychological condition to heal from. Um, many people end up taking their lives because they cannot deal with all the clutter and all the, uh, all the terrible trauma that it keeps replaying in their head, the anxieties, the night terrors, um, and that's just to name a few. I mean, it's, it's very, very troubling. I, I believe that PTSD is that one psychological issue where you have a whole array of other issues all combined into one. So PTSD is extremely difficult to deal with. And he was able to help this woman just through hypnotherapy, just by letting her go back into different times where she started to remember these things. That. And what I love about past life regression is that I don't, I don't ask you much, really. I, you are the one that is guiding me. I just have to put you in a state of trance or basically in a state of heightened awareness. Um, don't confuse the word trance with something that is strong or something that you have no recollection of what's what's happening. That I don't really like using that word because because of that. Because a lot of people think that they're like gonna be like out somewhere and um, and they don't know anything of what's going on here and that is completely and utterly not true. <laughs> what I love about um, taking people into other lifetimes is that there's a thing called karma and there's also a thing called history repeating itself which is part of karma. So when we think of karma we think of um, the law of cause and effect, you know, uh, what you put out comes back to you. But in this case, which is pretty true, but in this case, it's more about the lessons of that karma. So it's basically like we are continuing to repeat these um, patterns of different, in different lifetimes of different lessons. And we will continue to repeat these patterns until we learn to surpass them. And the way that we learn to surpass them is there are many ways, really. But the, the reality is, is to get in contact with ourselves, to get in contact with our essence and to learn to forgive and learn to love and especially our own self-love. So that is how um, you can learn to break these patterns. So I'll give you an example. There was this woman, uh, she was a lawyer, she was a lawyer in New York City and a lot of people, you know, they thought that, that's, that they think that's amazing and oh my god, you're a lawyer in New York City. She came from another country in, uh, in Europe, she came from another country in Europe and she moved out here when she was 18. She passed the bar on the first try, her, you know, her first language is definitely not um, English and she still did it. And so you would think, wow, you know, that's so amazing, that's so awesome. Um, but there was more to the story. She, she was living with a pain in her jaw for a long time. And she did everything that she could. She changed um, her, her mattress, she changed her pillows, she changed doctors, dentists, orthodontists. She did everything she could. Uh, to accommodate herself when it came when it came to that pain in her jaw, and it was a nerve. And so, after two years, the her her dentist or orthodontist, please excuse me if I get it wrong. Um, they told her, listen, you only, you have two options: either you live with the pain and move on, which is not really moving on, <laughs> but either you live with the pain. Or we crack your jaw and we restructure it, and we can we can see if that works. 
So she took her time and she definitely didn't want to do option number two because of obviously living with pain and doing more pain and, and it's not 100% sure that it's going to work. So she ended up contacting a regressionist. Me. So she ended up contacting a regressionist. No, she didn't contact me. This is, I'm not talking, I mean, I'm, I am a regressionist, but she didn't contact me. <laughs> you can find her story on YouTube, actually. And, um, and I will leave a link below as well. And she ended up contacting a regressionist and she scheduled an appointment. Mind you, this is a lawyer. So therefore, this is a very left brain person. Very logical, very structured. Um, she, I don't think she even knew that she believed in God at that point. She, she was just a very logical, very structured human being. So her first appointment, um, she did not regress. She did different, definitely she did uh, exercises and things like that because that's what you do um, when you're not regressing. You help the person kind of learn what it is to be in trans, learn what it is to relax and let go of the body. So, um, so you can, so they can have an idea of what it is, but she didn't uh, regress. But in her second appointment, she, she did. She actually scheduled a second appointment and she regressed and she saw herself as a black man, as a slave in the South. And she was a very strong black man and um, she was picking cotton and she was being brutally abused. Um, but in the end, she has Stockholm Syndrome. She actually defended her owners for keeping her alive or keeping him alive. And she said that she saw herself in shackles and there was a shackle going around her neck. And they, they particularly, the shackle was really hurting her jaw. And she said that when she saw this, she felt such emotion, such strong emotion that she just, she cried so much after she left uh, the office that day and she saw the parallels in this life onto that life. You know, her being a woman, her having a high uh, power position, she still felt less than everybody else. She made less than everyone else. She didn't have the office that she wanted. And she saw that she, saw that she was living the same life as in the other life. So, she, you know, she felt so, she said that her, her experience was so cathartic. It, it was so vivid. And she said that she let out so much emotion that day. And the next day when she woke up, her symptom was gone. Her pain was gone. And this is what past life regression does a lot. It helps a lot with your body, with chronic pain issues. Um, it helps a lot with anxieties. It helps with PTSD. But it doesn't only help with such um, strong symptoms. It helps also to bring yourself into a higher state of being. It helps you with your emotions and understanding who you are, why you have, um, why you have certain personality traits, uh, the people around you. You actually end up seeing the same people in, in another life. You see them in this life again and you recognize them. You actually recognize them. And I have also helped people looking for a higher purpose in their life and trying to understand themselves. Um, people have also come to me and say, hey, listen, I think I was somebody else in another lifetime. Like, you know, they, they describe to me and stuff like that. And then we go on, we check it out and we see what they see. But in the end, you're the one that is really guiding me. And I'm just kind of helping you figure things out. And within that, there are many lessons to be learned within that lifetime. We always do, towards the end, we do a lifetime review. Like, what did you learn? What are the patterns? Um, and, you know, what do you take from this life? What would you like to change from, uh, from that life and this life? And things like that. And, um, and it's a very enlightening experience. It really is. And for those people that don't think that they can get hypnotized, I tell you, call me. <laughs> because it's, it, I've usually been able to hypnotize everybody and, um, 
And it's not so much about like, oh, I can hypnotize everybody. It's more like it's a work in progress. Because a lot of these people, they have resistance and meaning that their ego is um, holding them back. And it's, it's usually done through protection. It's not because your ego wants to hurt you. You have to understand that your ego is like your worst enemy, but it's really your best friend. Because your ego, what it does is that it just really tries to protect you out of any kind of um, danger that it may perceive. And you have to understand that sometimes when we don't remember things from our childhood, has a lot to do with um, our consciousness, our minds and egos trying to protect us from remembering because it was maybe too painful, um, things like that. So I've definitely helped people, of course, unlock memories. Um, especially if you suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, um, this would, can be very beneficial because we don't necessarily have to delve into the trauma in this life. Maybe we can see the recurring pattern in another life and that will help you ease your anxiety and ease your pain and understand the, the karmas actually that you're going through in this life and the, the basically the repetitive, repetitive patterns that you're going through in this life and that it can actually help you ease and open up so you can heal in this life. So I definitely, my God, I, I cannot talk anymore about it. It's, not, it's, it's really beautiful. I've been able to, oh my God, I've, I've been able to do a lot with people with past life regression. I've already been doing it for two years. And, um, and I love it. I, um, I had the beautiful chance of meeting Dr. Brian Weiss. I am certified by uh, Dr. Weiss. And he's such a beautiful man and he's so amazing all the things that, that he has discovered. But not only he has discovered, but I've been able to experience myself. So that's why I love hypnotherapy and especially holistic hypnotherapy because you will be able to experience this. And actually, this is really interesting, which I really find awesome, but maybe not, I don't know, is that, you know, a lot of people that become regressionists, a lot of people that do pass up regression, they do it because, um, they do it because they had a past life uh, experience and they loved it so much, like that lawyer that I was talking about, they loved it so much and they want to become a regressionist and that's what they want to do. And in my case, that was not it at all, actually. I became enlightened through understanding past life regression, but I couldn't regress for a very long time, for like an incredibly long time and I, I couldn't regress and so but that but there was a purpose to that because that that meant that I started meditating right because if you want to regress you have to learn to relax and all these things and especially your mind my mind used to be like crazy and I had to learn how to how to relax and I had to learn how to meditate and with learning how to meditate I became enlightened basically so it was almost like I was really meant to do this and through a hypnotherapy session there were two light beings that came in through because that does happen by the way um, and they said that I have ancestry that does this so I need to get in touch with my ancestors when I meditate and I have to and before I do a session so they can help me so that was really beautiful and really amazing and basically it just shows that this is what I'm meant to do because it, I didn't do it out of experience, I did it as a calling. Um, so yeah, that's basically, basically what it is guys. Um, I love you all, please let me know if you like this video or if you have any questions about it as well. And um, hope to see you guys soon, Mwah. bye.